Hi guys, it's your boy Lil Beefy coming at you from TGN and we are you. Guys, thanks for subscribing and this is the second part of my LUI update. Now I'm chilling here in the Firelands area and I'm just going to go over the little extra little things in my UI help you guys out and this is going to be part two of, uh, of three parts. So guys, the raid, the raid frame right here in the, in the bottom right hand corner. You see that right there guys? With my name, it says little beefy in the little bottom. Now, you what you could do, you can enable portraits in there, which you can see a little picture, which is pretty cool, like you see everything else. But also, what you do is you go to bars. Now, if you want that health in there to go down, what you do, you have to go to bars and you have to click inverted colors. Now, that right there allows your HP to drop, as you see right here. Like, if you don't have that click. See how now it shows you? If you don't have that check, that will not show. It will just be a solid black bar, guys. And once again, your power is at the bottom. So you see like your runic power, mana, and energy, and whatever other things is out there, guys. Focus, things like that. You see that in the bars. Now, um, that's about really, you already have to enable to have a successful raid frame for this. And it will show you any debuffs and stuff like that that you want to show up in there. And such as icons, loot master, lead, raid leader role, you can have all those checked in there where it'll have the crown or the little baggy button and all that stuff like that, guys. Now, if you if you um log on and you invite somebody to a party, guys, and it shows up right here, what you do is you gotta click on party in unit frames, click on party, and you disable it, just uncheck it, and it won't show up because you don't need that because you're gonna have this raid, this thing down here is gonna show you everything, but. For the people who do want to see those big party frames, you go right here, click that, and you're able party, guys. Now, uh, let's see here. If you want to go to your target, now say if your target has a shit ton of debuffs on it, and you only want to see your debuffs, what you do is you go to Aurora's, debuffs, click on debuffs only, player debuffs only. Now, this will show you only your debuffs, which is awesome. And same thing here, you go to portrait, and you're able to portrait to see your portrait. And vice versa on the same thing on player. Player does the same thing. Now, the other thing I want to show you is a lot of people ask me how you get the time up there to be fixed and all that stuff like that. What you do is you go down to Infotext. Go to Infotext and you click on Clock. Now, you go Enable, Show Instance Difficulty. Now, what you do is to show local, to show your time, you click, make sure you have this checked. Once again, I click there, 1222 my time. Uncheck it. 922 server time. Yes, I live on the East Coast. Now, if you want to show the 24 hour clock for some of you guys that's out there, you click that and it will show the 24 hour clock, which is pretty cool. Another thing, guys, if you're trying to get everything else uh, enabled on your clock, what you do is you have to make sure you have, what is it at? Uh, ah, wrong area. I'll get back to that later. I have to remember exactly where that is at, guys. Uh, let's see here. Another thing I can show you guys right now that's going to help you out. If you go to, if you, oh, if you can turn off any module that you don't know how to turn back on, like info, um, tool, tool tips, there's a lot of things people turn off by mistake. You go to modules and you just re-enable it. As you see, I have bag disabled and merchant disabled because I use, um, bag on, which is this one right here. Oops, it's only over there. Let me show it. I use all in one bag, bag on. I use that right there. AKA I call it all in one bag because it puts everything in one giant bag. I don't like the one that this UI comes with. Um, let's go also with another thing here, guys. You have arena targets. Now, arena targets will also pop up just as your party frames does on the left. Your arena targets will pop here on the right. And we'll also show you if you're in the BG who's carrying the flag and things like that. And it'll show you the bars with debuffs, their HP and all that stuff like that. Um, how many stacks they have. That's all on here. And that's pretty cool what you can enable and you can disable. You can do portraits if you really want to, you know. So what they did was that this guy, when he remade it, he made sure that um, that everything was enabled. That you could do portraits and everything. It made it really cool. Um, right now, if you guys you have a problem with showing your guild, um, I'm having that problem. If you do know how to fix that, let me know. I've been trying to fix that. Um, but... Uh, my friends list does show and that's good. That's pretty cool, but it doesn't show my guild. It shows my friends list, but if I click on it, it shows my guild. 
So if you guys are having that problem, I have not uh, figured out how to fix it. And I'll definitely let you guys know when I am able to fix it. Another thing, if guys, if you have this bar that goes across your screen, I'm going to enable mods right here. This, oops, this bar right here. You see that that solid red bar? You probably won't see it because I'm over here in this fireplace, but I'll put it on the rocks. There you go, that solid red bar. That's your swing timer. To get rid of that, what you do is you just click it and you just reposition it any way you want. Left, right, bottom. You know, I have mine at the bottom like this because it likes me. I like to see it because it, I get to see it and go, hey, you know, this is what I'm going to get my next stack of Sin of Blood. But I honestly, not going to lie, don't pay attention to it as much. Um, let's see here. What else we have here? Interrupt announcer, which will show you every time you interrupt, death grip, or any other interrupts you have, mind freeze, um, strangulate, things like that. It will all show here with anybody else kicks, um, rebuke, and things like that. Um, I have Fort Exorcist disabled because I'm not a big fan of it. Um, auras. Let's go to auras, guys. Now, say people talk about your auras, your debuffs, stuff like that. You have it right here in Blood Presence and things like that. If you want to make those bigger or smaller, how many you want per row, you go here. You go to um, buffs and you slide this thing how many you want per, per row. And it says number of rows. I usually go with have it on two for some reason it changed so I'm going to three and we're right here what you do if you don't change this sometimes people have it on when it, I think when it is able it's on like 35 so all your buffs are going across your whole entire top of your screen so you're like whoa what is this what's going on so what you do is you go number per row and it knocks it down and then you go number of rows how many rows you actually want that go before it actually starts cutting off and same thing with your debuffs. You don't get that many debuffs, but unless you're doing like PvP and BGs and things like that, um, you do the same thing here. Same thing how you want it is exactly how it's going to work when you do BGs. And uh, let's see here. What else can I go over with you guys real quick for this video? Uh, right here you have all your TPS, DPS raid, and micro mini bars and things like that, which is this up here. And you can put that anywhere you want. That's how you move this around. And for you guys, a lot. Of, oh, and I got another whisper. A guy was asking me how you enable your mounts and your pets. Being that Blizzard combined both of them, this little paw up here, you see this right here, in the top or, top right hand corner, it's a paw right between Dungeon Finder and um, Help Request. You click on that paw, boom, brings up all your mounts and brings up your pets. So that's how you do that, guys, and have fun with that. So that question is answered. Uh, I'm just going through the list, trying to remember everything, you know, that guys asked me to do it. It's kind of late at night here. Once again, your dungeon journal is up there in that mini micro list. Now, say if you can't see your mini, your mini map and it's gone. You're going to go to the top right-hand corner right next to your map. I mean, next to, right next to your time. There's a little button. You click that to disable and enable it. There you go. Boom. See how it's going off and on? That's how it works right there. And to, to uh, a lot of people don't know about this one. If you click... The left bar, right there, you can set down markers. That's how you get your markers. Your, when you're in the raid group, that's how you get your markers set up and down like that. You even can mark targets right there. Skull, triangle, X, diamond. Um, convert to party. Um, loot method. Um, loot dress, threshold. Roll check and ready check. That's how you do that stuff when you're ready, guys. You don't have to open up O and do it. It's right here built into the UI itself. So that's pretty epic right there. And, you know, that's right now what I'm going to go over right now for LUI Part 2. Part 3 is going to come out. Guys, make sure you leave a comment and leave anything you want to know about this UI. And I'll answer those questions like I did in this video. Until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe to LilBeefyDK. Check out my giveaway on TG and World of Warcraft. Yes, a big, big, big giveaway. It's on TG and World of Warcraft. Check that out. And shout out to my boy Cyber and my boy Garion. And I love you all, guys. So peace, love, and chicken grease. Until next episode, this is your boy Lil Beefy. I'm out of here. One love.